Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Hope you're all having a good day. Doing something different today. This is gonna be a sort of vlog-esque video, I guess. So, I've recently just finished my new video room. You've seen it in the past few videos. I've painted it and put up some sound absorbing foam panels on the walls. So it now looks and sounds exactly how I want it to. I'm sure I'll make a few small adjustments over the years, but uh, right now I'm really happy with it. And I've just finished shooting four videos for my new Udemy course. So everything's still set up. I thought I'd go and show you guys what the room looks like when I'm filming a YouTube lesson or a gear demo, anything like that. So let's go and take a look. Okay, so. Here we are. So over here we just have this big IKEA shelf unit on the top. I used to keep whiskey up here in my old flat, but that's in the kitchen now. So up here I just have a bunch of random uh, orange micro terror, which I never use, but you never know I might come in handy someday for a gig, perhaps. Crybaby, strap, strings cleaning stuff for guitars and a couple of Donner pedals which I reviewed recently and it's just a bunch of cables and there's a camera lens in there and some random crap. Down here we have some books, these are self-improvement books, I'm quite into that stuff. Got a couple of Tim Ferriss books, 4 hour work week, great book if you hate your job and want to do something else, recommend this or if you're self-employed and want to know how to do it better, read that book. Also got Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss as well, and a bunch of other stuff that um, I'm gonna have to read soon. Uh, more random stuff by maybe part 57. Then over here, some, you know, rocker biographies, a couple of fiction books, some Stephen King stuff. Down here we have all my guitar books, the Jazz Theory book, Mode stuff, Guthrie Govan's books, some Frank Gambale's books, some Hal Leonard stuff, Joseph Alexander, Modern Method for Guitar, Ted Green, Music Business book, and these are just some things I used when I studied music at uni. Down here we have some Blu-rays which I'll probably never use again in my life but I just like having a little connection, not connection, collection of things like that. Also just have this light which is uh, foot switchable. Let's stick that on a pedal board someday. Not really. Now the good stuff, guitar rack. Um, I think this rack holds about four to five guitars. You can probably fit one over there as well. It's made by K&M, very sturdy. I like it because the rubber doesn't affect guitars with nitrocellulose finishes like this Les Paul and the Strat. So over here we have the Custom Shop Strat. My latest acquisition. Been using it in a lot of videos recently. Love this guitar. Then we have the Les Paul, which is heavy and I've been using this, or I've had it for about six years now, I think. So, yep, another good instrument indeed. And then over here we have my Tele. So this is a Fender American Special. And uh, this guitar has been through the war. I've only had it for a few years, but I used it on pretty much every gig I ever did last year. So it's not badly beaten up, but it's, uh, it's had some stage time for sure. Then last we have this Taylor GS Mini which I hardly ever play. I was actually lending it to a friend for a while and I've got it back now. And I think I'm gonna sell it soon because whilst it is a good little acoustic, I want a larger acoustic and something with a pickup. This doesn't have a pickup. And I hardly ever play acoustics. It's only really when I have to do it for a gig. So I want a better one that's, uh, you know, ready to go, I guess. Then over in the desk area, this is just a, you know, cheap IKEA desk. I would like to get a proper studio desk because I'm jealous of all these other, you know, YouTubers that have got really nice desk with like rack bays in them so I could stick the axe effects in there or something. But um, yeah, this desk works fine for now. Two monitors, um, Yamaha HS5s. These are going into, and these are turtles that I got in Nigeria as well. Uh, these are going into my axe effects too. My fractal audio. I know they just released the Axe Effect 3, but I'm kind of skeptical. I don't know how it can sound much better than this. Anyway, yeah, this is my preamp. So it basically just has a bunch of amp, emulation, uh, amp emulations and pedals and 
speakers and all sorts of good stuff. This acts as a, as a USB interface, so take a USB cable out of this, which is here. This plugs into my MacBook. I'm running Logic Pro, so that's what I use to record with. Really, I'm just recording guitar tracks and then my voice as well. So for my voice, I use this, which is a iRig lavalier microphone by IK Multimedia. It's about 50 quid, I think. Um, that plugs into my phone. So then I take the file from the phone and upload it to Dropbox, download it and drop it into Logic and then add some EQ and compression and stuff to that. I'm thinking about replacing this with a Blue Yeti mic, so that would be like a bulky microphone that would actually plug into an interface so I could record my guitar and voice simultaneously, which would make this whole video making process a bit easier. Always running hard drives as well. I've got, you know, a growing collection of hard drives because I just eat through them with the amount of video making that I do. Here is a tripod which this camera that you're watching this video on right now usually sits on. This is the one that's capturing my guitar. So this camera, don't have a mirror in here unfortunately, but this camera is a Sony RX100 Mark III. Very nice camera apart from the bad autofocus, it's very slow as you can probably tell. Then over here, this is the camera that captures my face. So this is a Nikon is it Nikon or Nikon? Let me know, what do you think? This is a Nikon D5200. I believe it's discontinued now, but I got it basically because it was cheap and it had a flip out screen, which is essential. because I need to be able to tell if I'm in focus or not. So that's it for the recording. Monitors, Axe FX, into the laptop, you know, voice microphone, tripod, um, head camera. And then on the walls here, I've just recently put up all this uh, Pro Acoustics foam, sound absorbing foam panels. So I got four bass traps, one, two, three, four. And the reason this one is not up in the corner is because the adhesive strips that I bought for it don't really work. So I've replaced all of them with uh, double sided foam which sticks on the walls just fine but this one fell down so I need to get more double sided foam for that. But hopefully you'll notice, hopefully this comes across in the camera as this, this room sounds quite dry now. Before, it sounded, it had this really horrible metallic echo, which I just hated. So I needed to get rid of that before shooting um, videos for my new course because I just couldn't stand the way my voice sounded in it. So I think these uh, foam panels have done the job though. They have definitely made an improvement. And then over here at the window, I have this sound absorbing blanket, which I had to hang up because, because this window faces on to quite a busy street in Edinburgh and the cars going by, all the traffic kind of gets picked up on my voice mic and I had to stop that because it was annoying. So basically mounted these four hooks up here for it to hang on and I got this from Vocal Booth to Go. So this was about 40, 50 quid and it doesn't totally mute the sound because there is a gap between it and the window but it does do a significant job of dampening the noise which is great so I'm really glad I got this and the foam room sounds a lot better now and then apart from that I think that's pretty much it I have these sort of cheapish softbox lights which I believe were a gift I think they were bought from Amazon they're fine they're really bright the stands are a bit cheap this one actually broke but they do the job they're very bright and they light up the room just fine for, for what I need. So that's basically it. This is my new room. I hope you guys like the look of it. I think it looks a lot better than it did when the, the walls were white. They were white when I moved in, but you know, I needed some contrast uh, between my very white Scottish skin and the white background. So I'm glad I went for the dark blue. And yeah, I love the way it sounds now. There's way less sort of nasty metallic echo going on in this room now, so. Really glad I got these foam panels. And yeah, this is it. This is where I'm gonna be filming my videos for a long time now. I just started my second Udemy course recently. Filmed about half an hour's worth of content today in this room. And hopefully it looks and sounds good. And this is where I'm gonna be doing all of the YouTube lessons, gear demos, Instagram stuff. All of that is gonna happen in this room. So I hope you guys like it. 
Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more vlog style content on this channel in the future. Someone just recently commented saying that they would like to see that on this channel and it is something I've been thinking about doing for a while because at the minute all I really do is guitar lessons and gear demos. I'd like for you guys to uh, see a bit more of what I actually do on a day to day basis and you know what my life is like. So if you'd be interested in that leave a comment below and let me know. And uh, I might actually do a vlog next week because I've got quite a cool gig coming up with my friend Annie Booth. She got invited to do BBC Key Sessions which gets broadcast on TV and radio so I'm going to be going through to Glasgow next week to do that so I might take my camera along with me. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a vlog about that. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye.